Hello lords and ladies, my name is Archaic King and welcome back to my Let's Play of Return of Popular Cross, a story season of Fairy Tale. In the previous video, I believe we were just finishing up some errands in Matthew Village. I can't remember why we went there. I'm kind of forgetful like that, but I'm pretty sure we were going to the Zazul region. Because that's where we needed to go next, and that creature was apparently blocking the path. Although I never actually saw him blocking it. Hey, it's him. Pumpkin, Pumpkin Man. Hey. hey, old man. You just kind of van vanished on us back there. You could at least say goodbye before you left like a proper gentleman. Who are you people? Huh? Have you come to take me away too? Mister. What the heck's got into you, old man? Your Excellency. Your Excellency, please wait. We need to talk this over. Don't run. Stay calm. Just come with us. I won't do it. You're trying to make a hole in my head. Th that's just so we can bring you back to the way you were, Your Excellency. Please, try to understand. It's okay. It won't hurt. That's not what I'm worried about. You, you're bad guys. I can't exactly argue with that statement. Uh, what? Especially How rude. I'm just a sweet young maiden with a fondness for drills and surgical operations. <laughs> what? Excuse me? I, I, I don't believe a word either of you say. Is he... Is he flying away? Y Your Excellency. Seriously, we have to stay on his trail. Of course, he's proving quite wily though. I never knew he had a contraption like that installed. How wonderful. Your Come back! This is getting awesome. The heck was that all about? That's a very good question. And who were those two? <laughs> the plot thickens. This is this is gonna be a fun region. Zazul Promenade. Well, okay then. Ooh, a dark ore hangs on this garden. Apparently, I can't actually go in these. That also looks like a little bit of a different aura compared to the ones in the, uh... Oh, holy crap. <laughs> I thought we were, uh, in an area where we could not be attacked by enemies, but apparently no, we are. And holy crap, there are... Crab mon- These are all new monsters. Well, actually, no, they're not. The crab one and I think the lizard men are... Oh, god, that was a... Quite a bit of damage. I hate how if I go a day without playing this game, and it wasn't even a day, I played this yesterday. <laughs> it feels like I haven't played in like an eternity. Like I always forget what the heck I'm doing. Alright, so the cactus and... Crap, I already forgot what the, uh, the lobsters were called. Jesus. Actually, I should not even use his attack. Let me use Aqua Break. Aqua Break. I also had the chance in Matthew Village to buy him a new slingshot, but I opted out of that, obviously. Uh, it would have only increased his uh, damage a little bit, and that would have only been in if he was doing regular attacks. And I kind of want to just use his magic points. Nino's Earthbreak is leveled up. Well, I don't act exactly use Nino's Earthbreak a lot, but... Pietra's Farm is Thursday Produce. Well, I will get back to that when I have time. Thank you very much, video game. <laughs> there we go. I was looking for treasure chests. Serenity Shower. Serenity Shower actually sounds like a magic move. Serenity Shower! Something from, like, uh, Earthbound. <laughs> All right. I'm not sure which way is the correct way to go. Oh, well, not that way, obviously. My constant quest for chests constantly lead me to danger. <laughs> oh my god, a chest! Yay! <laughs> I went the wrong way for the chest. 500 gold, not bad, not bad. Always be on the lookout for treasure chests, kitties. You always find good stuff.
Well, it looks like this is the correct path to take, according to the map, of which you, none of you can see. But I will constantly reference and remind you of. Alright. Riot Seal. have not gotten this item before. Let's go ahead and check that out. That would be under... Where would that be under? A seal fashioned in the shape of a buckler boosts its bear's magic defense by a small amount. Alright. That's cool. The downside to doing... Oh, can I go this way? No. The downside to uh, Let's Playing this game, or editing this game to be uh, fair, is that I have to cut out a lot of... A lot of battles. I'm afraid I have preparations to make over in Corden. I simply must ensure everything is ready as can be. Whatever. I can handle things here. Though I hope you realize all your preparations are just going to go to waste. Oh, is that a challenge? Perhaps I should try transforming someone at random into a black beast. That could be fun. Sounds good to me. How about that guy? I bet he'd be good for a laugh at least. <laughs> oh god, what's going to happen? We're going to have to fight another black beast right here, right now. Oh, but there's a uh, healing point right here. You know, honestly, those would also make good saving points just because they resemble. <laughs> well, actually, I should I'd probably quick save here. Those would make good saving points. They just look like them, you know? Something out of Kingdom Hearts or something. All right. All right, Mauricio's farm is up north, and Eredor Village is to the right, or down. Not sure which way to go. This is actually a big, big location. The North Moors of Zazul, according to the map. Let's go, let's go this way. Let's go to the farmland. Although, it's, we might not be able to get in or, I don't know. That might be a location that we have to unlock later in terms of uh, purifying the land. Also, these things are called snails, even though I'm pretty sure we've come up across some variations that are like, some kind of like giraffe snail or whatever. It's so weird. They're pretty resilient. They're not easy to take out. I mean, they're fairly easy to take out. So let me scratch that off. It just takes a a couple of pounds to kill them. Ooh, Blue Wolf is now level 17. Still super weird that we have not given it a name. And Amelia seems to be missing me. Well, Amelia, you can just wait. Ooh, treasure chest, treasure chest. Durable cloak. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I might, I might want to equip that. It rate, oh. Does it not, oh, hold on. Oh, I do already have a durable cloak on. Maybe I can give this to somebody else. Yeah, let's give that to, actually, maybe we should give it to Rue, considering, uh, considering he's our, well, actually, no. His defense is 43. Yeah, I should give it to the weakest one. Let's give it to, um... Let's give it to Rue. That way his defense will go up from 43 to 50. Since he's probably our... Mm, our weakest party member. Alright. more. What was it? Mauricio's farm? Oh! There are people here. There are. Ha <laughs> Hmm. What is it? Did you need something from me? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I was just talking. The sumo really aren't doing well at all. If this keeps up, we might lose them. They need medicine and fast. Moo. <laughs> I didn't know what. What did I expect? I wonder where old Mauritius could have gone. He ain't been back since he went off to see Dr. Anton. Alright, so. A little bit of a mystery on our hands. I wonder what's up here. This looks like it's going to be a shop. Based on the icon. Welcome to the farmer's market. What will it be? Well, what do you have for sale here? Stamina droplet, stamina shower, magic leaf. Treats, an animal treat to boast, boost any farm creature's spirits. Interesting. Boomerang cuke seed. Used to throw boomerang cucumbers. Used to grow, not throw. My bad. Only suitable for the soil at the Terrence farm in Zazul. So that's where we are right now. An epiphany ring... A ring that supposedly boosts its wearer's perception and allows for quicker thinking, making attacks easier to avoid, so basically that raises its speed. 
Although technically, it, it lowers Nino's speed from 22 to 19 for some reason. Oh, I think it's a luck, luck based. Hmm. And there's that riot still we already got. I suppose I could buy some stamina droplets while I'm here, maybe. I do only own seven. Mm. No, no, no. We're not gonna buy anything. In RPGs, I never really buy things. I'm, I'm, I'm always too nervous about not having enough gold. It's like, oh man, I better save this gold for when I really need to buy something with it. Never buys anything with it. <laughs> Isn't that always the case? Also, sorry if there's any noise in the background. Cannot help the dog barking. Sure is quiet in here. A little too quiet. Yeah, I'm not sure anyone's home. Sumu. I don't have to make that sound effect for you. Well, hello there. Hi. Did you need something from Mauricio's farm? Oh yeah, we actually can ask if there's something called a flambeau here. Ah, the forest flambeau. Yes, I think I remember my dad telling me something about that. Or maybe he didn't. Huh? Which is it? Brother, don't be rude. No, no. The other farmers often ask me the very same question. Or they say things like, Please spit it out, miss. Or, Make up your mind. Or, Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Mauricio's daughter, Mayuri. I help run this farm. My dad's out right now, though. Okay, can you tell us when he's expected to return? <clears throat> the young miss's explanation will surely be a long and winding one, so please allow me to answer in her place. At the moment, the sumu on this farm have all contracted a rather serious ailment, so the boss has gone off to track down some medicine for them. However, it's been a long time since he left, and we've received no contact whatsoever as to his whereabouts, so we're starting to get concerned. Oh, and I imagine the illness hasn't improved in that time either. It's pretty debilitating. Each and every day, the poor things are getting weaker and weaker. Until my dad gets back, we really have our hands full here. I'm sorry, I can't be more help. You're welcome to stick around, though we do ask that you keep off the road at the back end of the farm. That's a sacred place back there. I wonder if that's where we actually need to go in the end. With the, uh, the forest flambeau, is that what she said? Well, this is a problem. What should we do, Mr. Hero? Hmm, I know. Let's try to find the cure for this sumo illness ourselves. What? You mean we ain't gonna search for Mauricio? Brother, Mauricio disappeared while trying to find medicine for a sumo, right? So if we do the same, it stands to reason we might cross paths with him along the way. Besides, there are people suffering here, and animals too, and we can't just ignore that. Here you go again, playing everybody's savior. Well, whatever. You're set on this, and the first thing we gotta do is gather information. Right, so let's find some place with a lot of people and start asking around. Well, we know exactly where there are a lot of people. Here. No, not really. Although we can talk to them. Please excuse me, I'm very busy right now. The poor sumo. Okay, well. No point in asking them, then. Okay. Okay, fixed my headphones. That was oh wait, can't go that way, right? Well actually let's try going this way anyways. Uh maybe we shouldn't be back here. I mean, there could be some treasure chests, but... I feel like that... Yeah, that's the forest ruin. That is exactly where we don't need to go right now. We need the, uh, the forest flambeau or whatever before we uh, attempt that. Hopefully these monsters aren't, like, ridiculously tough or something. That's usually what they do in RPGs. They'll be like, oh, you see this? You can go here, but it has incredibly strong uh, monsters that you can't get past. And then you end up dying. I remember that being in this one RPG for the the Xbox 360, like 
five. Oh god, maybe it was ten years. Not ten years ago. That would have been the Xbox. Um, actually, no, it's 2016. Yeah, about ten years ago then. Um, I don't remember what the name was. Maybe it was um something Undiscovery. I don't know something like that. And there was this area that you could go to, but the monsters were so ridiculously tough that it was pointless to even go because you'd just get your butt whooped. It sucked. <laughs> Alright, so this was the farm. Obviously, we had to go here, so I made the right call. Although, who knows? Maybe we would have actually gotten a quest similar to it if we had gone the other direction. So, next up, we are going to... I think there's a town this way, right? Yeah, there should be a... Let's see. Dark room. There should be a, like a village... Ooh, I think that was a rock outcropping I could have used. There should be a village this way that we can go to. Oh man, that was a good attack. Thank you, Nino. Come on, Blue Wolf. Step your game up. Man, Rue can't even get close. It would be interesting if attacks did more from, like, behind. Actually, they might. I'm not really sure. You know, I'm already, like, 13 videos. Oh, there was a, ro a rock outcropping over here. Ooh. Galeria Stone and Venture Topaz. I wonder if I should give that Venture Topaz to some brothers. Haha. <laughs> Jokes. I've never even watched that show before. Leather Moth, Steen Kakata. Anyways, uh, I was saying that I'm already 13 videos into this Let's Play, and it's mostly on my own. Like, I have had no help whatsoever with this game. <laughs> you guys are either... I, I, I don't think many of you are actually playing this game then. Because, oh, it's story season, so I was like, oh, man, I don't know what to do. And you guys be like, oh, don't worry, okay, we got your back. We know exactly what to do. Uh, but with, with this game, it's like, hmm, I wonder what to do. And you guys are like, okay. No one's actually, actually commented. I don't think anyone's actually commented on any of these videos. So I haven't had any help. So if I'm doing things wrong, or there's maybe like certain items that I should be gathering or taking or equipping these guys, I have no idea because I'm out of the loop. <laughs> This is taking too long. Let's do... Let's do this. These aren't... Terribly tough opponents. But it was really getting annoying fighting them. There's like, what? Four of them? Five? I just decided to go the easy route. Now, I'm heading in this direction just to see if there's any... Nope, there's nothing that way. Now, hold on. There was a sign. I'm not sure if I'm going the right direction. Is the village this way? Or is it to the right? Oh, no, here it is. Aedor Village. Aedor? Aedor? I think that's the right one. Oop, cutscene. Well, hello. Ah, oh, hello. Sorry to intrude, but you seem like you've been out traveling, so may I ask a moment of your time? Sure. I was just wondering if any of you have seen an old woman around here. My grandmother seems to have gone missing, you see. Ooh, old people going missing is really... terrible. Oh dear, she probably went out to the far dock again. I keep telling her how dangerous it is out in the moors, but she never listens. She used to be the chief retainer to the royal family in Galeris, and I often catch her staring across the water, reminiscing about the old days. If you should happen to come across her out there, would you mind telling her how worried I am and asking her to come home? I'd really appreciate it. So is this a quest? I assume it is. One that they just automatically give me instead of me searching it out. Alright, so there's the inn. Might as well sleep here. Well, actually, let me talk to this person. Phew, you wouldn't think you wouldn't think cleaning this place would be such a problem, but it really is. That sea breeze blows in so much dust and sand. Hmm, I imagine so. This is a weird inn. Look at that. The beds are all in the same room with each other. I would not want to do that. 80 G. God. E That's a lot of gold. 30 g more gold than uh, the last village we stayed at. Yes, I would. Go ahead. Save. Seven hours. We put seven hours in this game already. Which is not 
too terribly much since this game's 24, 25 hours long. So. Hello. Alright, we'll find your grandmother eventually. Oh, hello. Aren't fish great? They're so cute. It's so fun to watch them swim around and move their mouths all glub glub like. I mean, aren't you a fish fishmanetic? Oh, hold on. I feel something. I feel something really strongly. Mr. Hero, I want you to search this area very carefully. There's a special girl around here who received Lady Galeriel's personal blessing. If you can make friends with her, I'm certain you'll see a really positive effect on the land as the power of this blessing begins to manifest. See, no one's helped me out with this, so I'm probably going to have to do some more uh, some online research when it comes to how many gifts I need to give each individual girl to receive the blessing. Because I've already met, I think if I meet this one, it may be three and I haven't yet, like, maybe I should have actually already received the blessing three to them, so. Let's go ahead and try to find that girl. I think this is her. Yeah, that was easy as pie. Uh, hello. Are you a travel? Um... Kinda, actually. Yeah, that's exactly what I am. My name is Pietro. Yep, here we go. Cutscene time. Aw, it's cute how we get little cutscenes for these girls. <laughs> you too. Um, the weather here sure is great, huh? It is. We're talking about the weather. Oh, God, Pietro, you are not a ladies' man. So refreshing. It does. This is a normal state of things here in Eador. Oh, so it's Eador. Got it. Well, thanks. Now, if only I knew what you liked, if liked anything. Hello. You're looking well. Hello. All right, so I apparently can't give her gifts, not yet, anyways. Oh, was this where we need to go? Maybe. No. Talk Hello. to you. Welcome to Eador. I hope you'll make fast friends with our Claudia. She could use a friend to talk to who isn't made of paper and glue. Hey, now. Don't underestimate books. Uh, hmm, who are you? Keep away from my daughter. Well, that's not going to make me want to keep away from her. <laughs> Alright, let me talk to her again see if we can give her gifts now. Nope, not yet. I think I have to actually leave and come back, or she has to miss us, or something like that. Alright, so this is where we'll find some items, probably. That is one interesting dolphin. Welcome to Trout Trapper Travelry. What will be? What do you have? Blowfish lamp. A desktop lamp that's almost ubiquitous in Eador. The blowfish is seen as a sign of good luck throughout Zazul. Bottlefish. A sculpture. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Oh, there's the next weapon. There's the next weapon. You guys can't see it. Let me explain. Uh, it's called the Wavelet Blade. 6,000 gold. Its unique blue-colored blade inspires awe on all who behold it, and those who bear it feel instantly at peace. That sounds awesome. It it raises my attack from 80 to 100, easily, easily making me the strongest in terms of offense, uh, physical offense anyways, physical attack, than any of my other party members who are all like, the, the other one is like, Blue Wolf is attack, it's at 80, Nino is at 79, and Rue is of course at 44. So this would make me a powerhouse, but I only have 7,000 gold, so I'm not sure if I should spend it. Uh, we also got some heat knuckles, wild knuckles. Oh my god. Wild knuckles, will, if I bought wild knuckles on top of the wavelet blade, uh, that would make Ru uh, Nino the strongest, because it would give him 103 attack, as opposed to just 100. It's a pair of knuckles decorated with all manner of wild natural objects. A bit heavy, but they pack quite a wallop. Uh, there's a hunter's sling that we could get for Rue, and then a warrior sling, but that costs that costs nine thousand. Um, durable cloak. We already own two of those. Rainbow. Uh, ooh, safety shoes are really good. They raise defense. Might think about buying these. A rock solid pair of virtually impenetrable shoes. Impenetrable shoes, often flavored by adventurers. 
Raises our speed, raises our defense. These are really good. There's also a rainbow ribbon. That would lower my defense and Ruse. But it would also increase everyone. It would increase Blue Wolf's and Nino's defense while raising everybody's magic and magical defense. Hmm. I'm going to have to save up some more gold so I can purchase the Wavelet Blade. And the Wild Knuckles. I just want to outfit everybody in their best gear. You know what I mean? Uh, luckily, we do have the farming venture on the side. So that's probably what we want to do. Ooh, another treasure chest. Paint Rainbow Droplet. The Subu ain't been doing too well these days. Haven't got any milk from Mauritius Farm in some time now. Actually, weren't we here for a specific reason? Yeah, like, we were, aren't we supposed to, like, go to a large group of people or for some specific reason? Oh, yeah, here we go. I give up. You can have my fish, you little slime balls. Like, I could do anything to stop you anyway. Sorry, I'm just really frustrated. It seems like every time I catch a fish, a snail comes along when my back is turned and eats it. And I mean, it's not like snails are fast, so I could always chase the thing down and try to take it back. But when it looks at me like that, huh. You've got a sword, though. Can you help me out at all? Maybe take a few down, show them we don't tolerate fish thieves around here? Yeah, sure, man. Oh, thank you so much. You have no idea how much this means to me. Sneaky snails. Yeah, um... That should be easy to do, you know. Because <laughs> we're always finding snails Ooh, another treasure chest actually now that we can actually now that we can actually fast travel every time it says oh this person misses you or oh this produce is thirsty or needs to be picked we could just easily do that you know I don't even know where I want to go well hopefully we run into some snails and of course we don't fantastic Let's do Earthbreak. Let's see how much damage this does to them. Well, they're not dead, but that will probably help. Nope, apparently not. Jeez. I thought that that Earthbreak would lower their uh, their well health enough where that we could uh, we could easily finish them off. But maybe Aqua Break will help. Or not even, not even really get us close. Whatever. Just move you closer. Jeez. These lizard men seem to be a little bit stronger than the other ones we face. Just a little bit. Nothing too terribly difficult. But they are doing some real damage to us, aren't they? Come on, Blue Wolf, finish this crap off. Okay, there we go. Although Blue Wolf lost quite a... You've met your quest completion requirements. Oh, right, yeah, we, uh... We had a quest for Lizard Men. We can actually go turn that in. I want to see where this path takes us, though. Does it take us back? Yeah, that was where the... Okay, good thing we didn't take that path. Yeah, let's actually go ahead and turn that quest in. Where was it? It was Matthew Village, right? Where we Was it Matthew Village where we turned in? Not turned in, but where we got that quest? Let's go ahead and check. Maybe it wasn't. Hold on. Actually, we should probably at least take a look at the map. Not the map, but... um, Quests. Okay, uh, sorry, looking through all the quests right now, trying to find the one that said... Ah, here we go. Um, ah, here we go. Ah, it was in the forest clearing. Okay. We also actually have some other quests that we haven't done. Well, I mean, we just got sneaky snails. Okay, we already... Okay. Okay, we need to go to the forest clearing. My bad, we went to the wrong place. <laughs> that seems going to have to be the... Oh, wow, can't talk today. That seems like it's going to be uh, the trouble. Me trying to remember who gave me what quest. Alright, so it was in the forest clearing, yes? 
I don't think it has... I can't be that far. It must be this guy, right? Hey, I'm back. I have good news for you. PS reported his success to the man. Oh, no. Wow, really? That's mighty impressive. Those losermen will think twice before coming over here now. Here, this is for you. As a thank you. Received ballistic carrot seed times five. Nice. Completed. Thanks so much. I can't wait to get back into the forest and start digging for shield bug shells. Well, you're welcome. You're welcome, dude. And honestly, while we're back here, we might as well head back to my farm. Actually, Sylvan Farm. Let's go to there. Because I can't remember if they said, um... If the... If it had grown. Nope, not yet. Okay, just wondering. I'm gonna head back to my farm. Okay, well, um, I actually went back to the Sylvan Farm because we actually needed to water some stuff, but I actually already harvested and took care of some of the crops back at my place as well. Also, there doesn't seem to be a place to turn in our produce here at the Sylvan Farm, which is a little bit disappointing, but that's fine. It Now that we can fast travel, it's, it's not much of a problem. Uh, but we're actually out of time for this video, so we're going to actually have to continue our adventures in the Aedor, not the Aedor region, but the Zazul region uh, next time. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like or a comment, or consider subscribing for more Return to Popular Sakaris content. Once again, thank you guys for watching. Take care.